There's less than a month left until the delivery of the Tesla Semi to its first customer. But you'll never know how far the Tesla Semi or other electric semi trucks will go according to EPA testing standards. Musk claims his Semi has a range of 500 miles, whereas a 6x4e Cascadia weighs roughly 22,000 pounds and has a range of about 220 miles. So how does the Semi get more than twice the range at a comparable curb weight? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. The EV maker seems determined to test its Class 8 all-electric truck as much as possible before it hands over the first batch of the vehicles. More recently, a Tesla semi-unit was spotted bobtailing in the Bay Area. A short video of the bobtailing Tesla semi was shared on Twitter by an EV enthusiast. One could see the truck moving smoothly through the road. The semi driver did not seem to be pushing the truck to move as fast as possible, as evidenced by the fact that the vehicle was being overtaken by several other cars. However, it's still pretty impressive to see such a large electric vehicle like the semi moving smoothly on the road. Moreover, another Tesla semi was also spotted in Silver Springs, Nevada, igniting a flurry of interest from the EV world. The video of the vehicle was short, but one could see that its speed and power were remarkable. Interestingly enough, the semi also had an otherworldly futuristic sound while it was ripping ahead. The Tesla semi has long been in the works, originally announced in 2017. Tesla claims that the 500 mile range larger battery version Tesla Semi can go from 0 to 60 in just 20 seconds with a full load of 82,000 pounds. This is impressive considering that a standard diesel truck needs about a full minute to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour attached to a full load. For more comparisons, the 6x4 E Cascadia will also be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds without any cargo and in 20 seconds without while carrying 80,000 pounds of cargo. If its payload is 82,000 pounds, it's likely that its acceleration time will be reduced to 18 seconds, which can't beat the Tesla. One thing that has garnered a lot of interest is how much range the Tesla Semi actually has. Tesla was bombarded with questions surrounding the vehicle's EPA-rated range, but the EPA does not test or evaluate heavy-duty trucks for range ratings. This allows manufacturers of heavy-duty electric vehicles and semi-trucks to have a profoundly unique ability to control the narrative that surrounds how far their product can go on a full charge. Technically speaking, manufacturers could say whatever they wanted regarding their EVs. Tesla has maintained significant range ratings for the Semi throughout its development, with Elon Musk recently stating the vehicle will have 500 miles of range per charge with a sizable payload. Of course, Tesla has been testing its vehicle internally with the help of verified customers like Frito-Lay, who will take delivery of the first Semi on December 1st and conduct many road tests. That further proves that the scope of the Tesla Semi is exactly as Elon Musk has claimed. Volvo, a Tesla rival, also tested the range of its all-electric VNR Class 8 heavy-duty truck through a pilot program with third-party companies. Volvo contracted companies such as NFI Industries to test the VNR in commercial operations in order to prove and demonstrate the truck's capability. But still, why does the Tesla Semi have such a long range? According to the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, the average weight of the E Cascadia, Kenworth T680E, Volvo VNR Electric, BYD ATT, and Nikola TRE Electrics is about 24,200 pounds. The average maximum mileage range is about 220. Clearly, something about Tesla is different from all the others. In every analytical scenario, the Semi is an outlier. During Tesla's third quarter of 2022 earnings call, Musk attempted to dispel concerns and or rumors that, due to the Semi's heavy batteries, it may not be able to pull off its 500-mile targeted range. In fact, the CEO said the Semi's range estimate applies to when it's hauling cargo, which makes sense. We will begin ramping up production of the Tesla Semi. No sacrifice to cargo capacity, 500 mile range, just to be clear, 500 miles with the cargo on level ground. 
Musk was clear to note that traveling up an incline would obviously reduce their truck's range. However, when EVs head downhill, they can recoup energy thanks to their regenerative braking systems. Due to its three powerful motors and a large battery pack, the Tesla's semi's acceleration far exceeds that of a combustion engine semi. Moreover, the electric torque instantly delivered from the motors to the vehicles to the wheels is the major factor in this type of performance from even a large truck. With a Tesla signature steering wheel and dual screens in its cabin, the drivers will not feel as if they're driving a large semi, but rather have the experience of driving a high-tech sports car. The Tesla Semi 300 mile range version is expected to have a base price of about 150,000 US, with the longer range model starting at 180,000. It's hefty, but don't forget about the $40,000 tax credit for commercial vehicles, which could help offset costs. But then again, do you believe the Tesla Semi will really be delivered in December? The Tesla Semi was featured in Renault Truck's most recent advertisement, mocking Tesla's timeline for the Semi's introduction. Tesla's Semi production has been getting delayed for at least two years now while showing off Renault's commercial electric trucks already for sale. However, the information to follow will be good news. The EPA confirmed the Semi has been assessed and granted a certificate of conformity to enter the stream of commerce, something Tesla had not gained from the agency in previous years after announcing imminent deliveries in 2020 and 2021, which is a significant indicator that the vehicle will begin deliveries soon. Tesla Semi has officially been granted a Certificate of Conformity, which was given to the manufacturer on September 29th. The certificate is valid until December 31st of 2023. Now, even if Tesla does not deliver the vehicle to PepsiCo on December 1st, as it previously said, with PepsiCo's confirmation, the company can officially use the Semi on public roads and deliver it to clients. So we expect to see significant um... We're, we're tentatively aiming for 50,000 units in 2024 for um, Tesla Semi in, in North America. How do you feel about the Tesla Semi's acceleration? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.